This house is home to dragons and secrets alike. I must admit my confusion. A long time has passed since our seats were glued to the tents yet thrilling land of Westeros. This spin-off series based on the Fire and Blood saga features the same dramatic punches and emotional kicks we know and love from Game of Thrones taking place all the way back in the heated fury past, 200 years ago during the reign of the Targaryen dynasty to be precise. But what if we told you this wasn't exactly the first spin-off idea for the series? Let's explore this draconic abode together and learn about this plus more as we reveal some fun facts about the House of the Dragon. This whole idea started with a little title named Blood Moon. Originally intended to be set during the so-called Age of Heroes, a whopping 8,000 years before Game of Thrones, this concept series would have been based on a period that was, for all intents and purposes, only mentioned in brief within the books. Potential themes and topics include the origins of the White Walkers, secrets of the Essos, and the legends surrounding the Stark forefather, Brandon the Builder. A worthy tale to tell, better than Brandon the Broken, that's for sure. Sadly, this short-lived idea didn't make it past the initial phases due to lack of interest, even from George R.R. R. Martin's side. And so, the brainstorming began anew with various ideas tossed around until we finally reached our current destination, the House of the Dragon. Instead of exploring the distant bygone times, this prequel places us in the middle of the events leading up to a grand civil war of succession. That's not everything though. Dracarys. The Targaryen Civil War is loosely based off of real-world events. Flash back to 12th century England. Willem Adelin, the one and only legitimate heir to the throne, dies in a shocking shipwreck, leaving Henry I to name his daughter Matilda's successor under an oath sworn by the Lords of the Kingdom. Let's just say, you history buffs out there know how that story pans out. The comparisons start to rear their heads as we juxtapose old Henry's situation with that of King Jaehaerys I Targaryen whose two sons also meet an unfortunate fate kickstarting the events of the prequel. Okay, I probably butchered those names, but rounding up all of this, House of Dragons real life influences and cultural inspirations don't end there. Cast members actually had to learn a whole newly invented language inspired by classical Latin. High Valyrian, despite originating from a fallen ancient empire, is still spoken by members of the elite. Sound familiar? Both House Targaryen and House Valerian continue the legacy of the old speech by interacting with each other, some servants, and their own dragons in the dead language. My house survived the doom! We appreciate your time, draconic devotees and Targaryen enthusiasts. What's your favorite part about this topic? Give your insights in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're interested in more pop culture factoids. 